Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art. Today we are going to make a mini art journal. I'm going to make it using these four tags. These are medium size, I think they're size number 10. And I had previously printed them on a jelly plate. So they were basically ready to go. What I'm going to do is first take one and fold it so the blank side is on the inside of the fold. If you had printed both sides of the tag, it wouldn't really matter which way you fold this. Just make sure you get a nice even crease. And then I like to line up the holes on the side of the tag so as you're flipping pages through your art journal, it will have the whole sides as being one page and then the flat rectangular sides as being another page. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So you take that next tag and you line up the blank sides to each other and so the holes are to your left and the rectangular sides are to your right. And right now what we're doing is just creating the, the pages, the way they're going to look when the book is together. And after we have a nice dry fit, then we'll glue it. So now as you can see, the two sides with the holes, two sides with the rectangle, two sides with the holes, two sides with the rectangles is going to keep repeating. You don't have to do it this way, but I think it makes it look cleaner when the sides of the holes are lined up and the sides of the rectangle are, are lined up. That way you don't have little edges sticking out. Now that everything is put together, do a little dry run here and see how the pages are going to be folded together and looking after we glue it. Now I use score tape, which is double-sided sticky tape, and glue stick. This glue stick is by Ranger. It's in the Dilutions line and it is a really nice glue stick. The reason why I use both is because score tape makes sure, you know, this is not going to go anywhere. It's definitely going to stick and the glue stick gives you that extra minute or so to move the pages around a bit if you don't get it exactly lined up the first time. Now that the score tape is laid down, all you have to do is peel off the top layer so that the other side of the sticky is showing. Now that the score tape is completely exposed, take some of that glue stick and go over each of the score tape lines. You can also fill the glue stick in where you don't have score tape if you want. And now as you lay down this first tag, if you don't get it exactly right, the glue stick allows you to wiggle it for, you know, a minute or so. And you're just going to repeat this process of laying down score tape, the glue stick, make sure it's well pressed together and lined up for the rest of the pages. The next step creating your mini art journal is to embellish it. And I am going to use some stamps and stencils that I got out of the Simply Cards and Papercraft magazine where they are featuring a lot of Ranger products. And it even comes with a 30 page or so Ranger magazine inside of this magazine. So it's definitely worth um, purchasing it this month. Actually, I think this might have been last month's magazine. It just gives you some nice little samples. And if you don't normally use Ranger products, you should know by now if you're watching my channel, I am a huge fan. And this um, little set of stamps I thought would fit perfectly with my little art journal.
I'm just going to keep adding to this little book until I feel like it's at a point where I want to stop. And I'll probably use this for some journaling, but you can also use it as little photo books or little gifts to give away. They're pretty quick and easy to do, especially if you save your tags that you jelly plate print on or you know use for scrap and such. Or if you have a bunch of tags laying around and you don't know what to do with it, this is hopefully a good idea. So there'll be some close-up photos at the end. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Thanks.